welcome to Powering Progress Together. The UN expects the population to grow to about 11 billion by the end of the century. As that population grows, it will involve the consumption of energy. We want to hear your ideas. We want you to challenge us on our ideas. Electrification is the big technology. It's electricity in cars, it's electricity in industry. Tesla is not in the car business. We're, a, we're an energy company. It thinks about the generation of energy, the storage of energy, and then its consumption. Technology is important to the energy transition because we won't transition without it. If we don't get technologies like storage, to the right level, then, then we will not be able to deal with intermittency of renewables, which will limit the amount of renewables we can bring on the grid quickly. Shell has a huge history in drilling. I think there's plenty of energy in the ground. Actually, it's quite hard to make the economics work compared to other renewables. That's the true story. For the first time, solar energy is now 18% cheaper this year than coal-fired energy. We don't have a monopoly on all the ideas and solutions, so it's really important that we hear from real people from different walks of life, different stakeholders, society, government and others, and how do we use that to really form solutions of the future. Are we as a business, as a shell business, being ambitious enough? A nation of innovators, beyond doubt. The ability for us to create the right climate to scale up those businesses into you know, billion dollar unicorns historically um, just hasn't happened. The difference between average demand and total installed generation is currently three to one. I think for a long time there's been a strong sense of, of big bad oil and then the sort of good energy startups and, and I feel the conversation's really changed and then there's an awful lot more talk about what together we're going to need to do. We need them but they also need us. I was really impressed that, that Shell were able to look at some of the challenges and to share the challenges across different territories. It really helps us analyse how we can improve the carbon impact. We didn't know what the future was going to be. So we decided if we didn't make it ourselves, it was going to be made to us. So what we would encourage is other industries, other companies, other universities, think about how you can be a part of that because it's your future too.